What's going on, collective? Welcome back to Jewelry Box Tarot with your girl Empress Gem. Here to drop these jewels. General message, guys. Take what's for you, leave the rest behind. I will call signs or placements. But again, it may not be for you. Time is fluid. And the roles could be reversed. So take it how you need to take it, okay? I am open for personal. So we got strong Capricorn energy. This could be obsession. This could be this lack, doubt, negativity. This could be somebody who's obsessed with something not working out. Um, honestly, when I was getting ready to do this message, I did, like I heard, they losing it. So somebody is definitely losing their mind here. Okay. And I feel that um, people are discovering this or it's being revealed or somebody could see that somebody really has like a mental issue here. Okay. Um, somebody could honestly probably collect the check for, um, like a disability check because of their mental health. Um, I do feel that somebody has a hard time wanting to accept this, but people are starting to see this about them here. It's coming out. Yeah. This person has a lot of toxic ways, very obsessive nature here. Okay. A lot of negative thoughts. Um, just a very negative type energy here, okay? Like, yeah, somebody's upset that they're not winning, that they're not celebrating, possibly even with you here, Collective, okay? So let's see. We're actually not going to start with this deck. We're going to start with the Spirit Says deck and see what, you know, Spirit has to say for us from that deck. But I figured I'd do this pre-shuffle. And give you guys the 411. Yeah, somebody definitely is doing a lot of conniving, sneaky energy here. Okay. Yeah, but like I said, we're leaving with this underneath the deck. There's a judge here or a doctor. There's a psych. There's somebody who can vouch. There's somebody who's seeing this. Somebody's probably acting out in public and getting arrested only to find out that this person is being um, put on like a... I'm seeing a 72-hour hold here. Yeah, you could be from New England or this person is or... It's just that somebody is very bitter, okay? We got karmic feminine energy here. A lot of people are realizing this person is an op. They're upset about the transformations, oh yeah, and the karma that is taking place, okay? Capricorn Scorpio energy. Judgment is on, being placed on the situation here. It could have been um, two to three years waiting on his judgment or for this to come out, but it's here now. Okay, somebody could have just had a new baby boy or pregnant with a son. Congratulations. Okay. We'll give one more shuffle, then we'll cut and see what we got. Yeah, this some, somebody, auntie. <laughs> somebody, auntie here. Um, ain't shit. We're just going to put it that way. Somebody, auntie is not shit. Okay. But let's see. And I definitely get that. Like, it's auntie. There's somebody raggedy-ass auntie. I'm also getting that there's a Nadine type of energy. If you ever seen Antoine Fisher, then you know what I'm talking about. So, underneath the deck, we're starting with April energy, Aries Taurus energy, Emperor energy, um, Divine energy, bossing up, glowing up, transition energy, taking charge energy. Um, this also could be somebody who is narcissistic, who is controlling. I typically don't read this deck in reverse. So, I, I like to give all meanings surrounding the cards. Okay, so let's see. Divine Holy Spirit, what do we have here for the collective today? What do they need to know? What is the message in regards to this person who is losing their mind, please? You got the juice collective and somebody is always watching you and stalking you. They can't believe how you heal through everything. Okay, this is somebody who has tried to abuse you in so many ways. Whether this was spiritually, mentally, physically, financially. Okay. You overcome everything. It's like... <laughs> You owe me. I feel like like that's what your higher self be saying. You don't be realizing and the universe be like, no, we got you. Don't worry about them. Yeah, they can't come with you, love. So somebody is losing their mind because they cannot come with you on this next chapter or step in your life here. Somebody is very jealous, very upset, yet it's none of their business. Somebody is losing their mind because they can't figure out what's going on with you. You may not talk to this person. This could really be a family member, ex-friend, okay? Uh, ex-lover if you know y'all have some sort of ties or connections this person knows nothing about what's going on with you and this is what's driving this person crazy like i said you got the juice here collective 
okay? Too much juice, too much sauce. This person could be crying late at night because you cut the cord here on this person, okay? Yeah, and this person is so sorry. They can't be sorry enough here because you're protected. Like I said, this person, this energy did a lot of things. Um, but this person has a, a, a very serious um, mental health illness. Um, I'm hearing even a disease for some people. So this person is like losing their mind. Somebody could be like experiencing early dementia, which is like they're in their 40s and they're becoming very forgetful of stuff. So it's like dementia is kicking in early for this person. This could literally be somebody's karma here, okay? Because a lot of times it's a genetic thing, you know, when people get dementia and develop Alzheimer's like in their 30s or like late 30s, 40s. Um, but I feel like this is this person's karma here. I'm hearing they forgot to remember themselves, so we're going to make them forget the world. Yeah, this person stalks you. This person needs to go get a health check. This person is losing their mind, like all the way around. So it's like somebody is going crazy, losing their mind. Like, loca, loco, right? And somebody is like losing their mind, their memory. Like this person's gonna need a care attendant. This could even be an elderly person here. I'm seeing 65, so somebody in their 60s. Or somebody born in the year 65, so this person can even be in their 50s. And they're starting to like lose their mind, okay? So let's see. What else do we have here, Divine Holy Spirit, for the collective in regards to this message? What else do they need to know? We'll see. We'll get a couple more from the Spirit Says that. Okay. They said, well. <laughs> so, yeah, you're protected, blessed, and highly favored here, collective. So you have nothing to worry about, like nothing whatsoever. Like this person can't come near you. They can't touch you. No matter and like I said, no matter what they've been doing, none of it has worked. You owe me. Like you've been sure they say what's your price. I feel like you said your price. And you know, you backed it up. Like I feel like you held up your end of the bargain with the universe to deserve, you know, whatever it is that you're manifesting. Somebody's upset they can't come. Somebody could have tried to been blocking this, or they could have been a blocking energy for why something wasn't coming in for you. But um, it's in the details. Like I said, pay attention to this person here because this person will become very forgetful, um, forgetting their keys, forgetting scheduled events, forgetting doctor's appointments, forgetting simple, like, birthdays, like their own children's birthday or some shit like that. Like, somebody is, um, it's been going on for the last six months here. Okay, this person has been losing their mind. I feel like they're not telling anybody about this here. This could be a lot of embarrassment here for this person. This, a lot of times it's denial as well. People don't like to believe that, you know, they're losing their mind here. Or, you know, no, not me. I'm too young. Or, you know, I can't have that. Or it's like, you know, I don't know why I just seen HIV. So it's like somebody coming and telling somebody that they've been sleeping with for the last six months. Like, yo, like. I'm about to go get tested. I found out, you know, the person I was sleeping with before you got HIV, blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, well, not me. I ain't got it. As if, you know, they're untouchable. 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 But whatever. So I do feel like, you know, you've been doing a lot of healing. Ophucus energy. You could have a birthday between November 30th and December 17th. You or this person or something could have happened this way, but I've well, happened during this time. Um, but I do feel here that, you know, this is, Ophiuchus energy also represents medicine, doctor, like somebody needs to go see a doctor. Um, somebody needs to see a healer, okay? I also feel that, you know, with all these things that has been happening around you as well, you have been transmuting the energy. You got a lonely person around, yeah, this person needs to go see a doctor. This Ophiuchus is somebody needing to see a doctor here. This person does a lot of heavy drinking, they're alone, they don't like to tell anybody what's going on. Um, and this could be like a danger to this person as well, okay? Um, alcohol induced amnesia or some shit like that. I don't care if I ruin every, if I lose everything, I'm going to ruin you, karmic, okay? So, like I said, it's definitely a karmic energy. This could be a karmic aunt, okay? Um, I did see a karmic feminine energy while I was shuffling. So, yeah, this person definitely betrayed you and stabbed you in the back here. And like I said, this could be their karma, okay? Um, they betrayed and stabbed a lot of people in the back. So, this is their karma here, all right? And they're right. They are losing everything. They're losing their mind, whether this is to, like, be able to be mentally coherent and be able to be around, you know, society because i'm getting the energy i'm saying like uh i don't know what music video that was that brandy did when she was in a straight jacket but i'm saying that so like somebody is literally like about to be lose like 
somebody about to be locked away because mentally they are not only a harm to society, but they are a harm to themselves. I see this person like probably drinking and driving or something. That's how they get caught out or whatever. Like if they get in an accident or they get pulled over, they like act so like it's more than um, like indecent exposure or obstruction of justice or, you know, resist of arrest. Like this person is like, they're, the cops are gonna see that there's something more, like something that is totally off with this person other than the fact that they're like drunk, like they're drunk at the time or whatever. So yeah, we have five o'clock in the morning, where you gonna be? And it's crazy, that's underneath the 5 p.m. So around the clock, this person could drink around the clock. I'm also gonna, somebody could be stalking you and trying to harm you and betray you around the clock. Like, this person is always constantly thinking up a plan to hurt you, okay? The initials A, G, M, S, first, middle, last, street name, city name, or the beginning. Like, the first initial of somebody's job, okay? Could be significant. The number is 039. I'm getting in a street address or in a license plate. Could be very significant here as far as the energies. But understand, at the end of the day, collective miracles happen, okay? Despite all of this drama that's going on, it's crazy how many cards came out, okay? We have 11 cards, and I set, like, rows of threes at the top. They can't come with you. We have all these details <laughs> in the middle. And at the bottom, we have that the miracles happen. So they can't come with you because you are being blessed with all these wonderful miracles. And like I said, this King of Swords could be law enforcement here or a judge or even the doctor ruling um, saying, no, this person needs to be locked up or this person needs treatment. Okay, yeah, they can't come with you because you're in this King of Pentacles energy here. Okay, you're prospering, you're growing. All right, you're stable, you're abundant, you worked on this hard on your own, you had to master a lot of steps and processes to get here. You get with Sagittarius, balance, um, temperance energy here. It took a lot for you to get things in order. You had to pay off a lot of debts, a lot of karmic debts, a lot of financial debts, and you're here. See, you cut the cord with no problem. You dropped this like a bad habit, baby. You released all these burdens, Sagittarius energy, you moved away, you cut cords. Okay, you lay down all of your armor, all of your weaponry, not your sword, though. You walked away with your truth, but you're just like, I'm not fighting this. You you just refuse to put in any more energy into the situation. Yeah, but you did not drop your swords because, you know, these people, I feel like these are energies that cry wolf or again because of this losing their mind aspect. This could be like somebody who's schizophrenic. It's like one second they're like the bad guy and then the next they want to play victim, but they've been the bad guy the whole time. It's like they forget their role. So it's like you understand the truth. You walking away two truths and a lie, and the lie of the matter is, you know that this person ain't ain't hurting for real. Like this person full of shit. They only dropped their swords because in reality, their swords were all like lies. Because I feel like they're still pointing down for like you know deception here, and you're walking away with the two truths. And these people each had a sort of um, a lie here, and you know what this lie is as well. So you walk away with more truth here. You let this go. You're just like I'm not dealing with this, like at all. It's in the details here. Yeah, like I said, some, there's going to be a report that's going to come out. It's going to be in the news. Everybody about to find out about this or see this somehow. Maybe social media is going to run it. Yeah, like it's not going to be a pretty ass picture. It's, and it's not going to be small. Like I feel like this is going to be, you know, big. Like people are going to find this out. It's going to be very, very shocking to people. I feel like this has been going on in this person's life for either the last six months or in the next six months. This is going to, you know, this has been happening with this person for the last six months. This person has been going through a lot of transformations during their sleep. They've been getting, they got the warning. I feel like somebody got the warning about six months ago at the top of 2023 to not do some shit here, okay? And they still continue to do it. I feel like the last one was probably in April. April 6th could be somebody's birthday here, but somebody got the warning to not do what they were doing anymore, okay? To replenish themselves and somebody refused, somebody just slept. This is that energy, somebody slept on your three swords, right? Because in that five of swords, you walk away, you're still holding three swords. And this person has their one sword. Like this person, they still want to believe and feel that what what they're doing is right or whatever. And like I said, somebody's about to lose their mind here. Yeah, all this juggling here. Somebody's about to lose their mind because they can't balance. They can't maintain it all, okay? I feel like this person, they could have been told to go see a doctor. And this could be for any other freaking reason. 
Yeah, somebody was told to go see a doctor here. Hey, something could be wrong. Maybe you want to go see a doctor. The wands, this could be a masculine. You know, a feminine could have came in and told a masculine, like, hey, you know, I found out from this dude I was messing with X, Y, Z, and a third. You should go get yourself checked. This masculine is trying to figure it out. Or even, like, this could be, you know, a feminine who's trying to figure out either who, like, who burnt her or who did something or if somebody's pregnant. They're trying to figure out who the daddy is, especially before they get to, somebody could be, like, getting to the end of their pregnancy and realizing, like, damn, I have to tell the truth about who the real father is. Yeah, this person has been juggling this truth. Um, whether this is about who the father is or, like, who they got the STD from or that they gave, they know that they gave it to somebody, okay? And I'm talking about, like, a strong STD here, all right? I feel like somebody's been juggling with the ideas for the last two weeks. They probably could have found out eight up to eight months ago. Somebody been laying on this truth for the last six months. They refuse to say what it is, okay? This person does a lot of heavy drinking. They're very much so stressed out here, worried, dealing with a lot of anxiety. Like I said, going through a lot of mental issues. That person holding their head, okay? Because of the third parties of, you know, all that partying, all that bullshit that they was doing, the people they was hanging out with. Somebody could have drugged someone as well. Yeah, they, this person doesn't care what they lose because this is a miserable person. Misery loves company here. This person is broke. They don't have no real support. I feel like they buy their friends, okay? They have to kiss the ass of their family because they're, their own family. I feel like people just really don't fuck with them unless this person, like, this person gives away everything, like their body, their money, everything to please people. So that way they can have people in their corner because nobody really fucks with them. This person is losing everything. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They're losing everything for fucking with you, collective. Like, every fucking thing for... Yeah, this person is penny pensioned. Okay, they're struggling here. This person is trying to figure out what to pay. Like, do I pay my light bill or do I put, buy food or do I get gas in my car or do I pay, actually pay it? Yeah, they tried to betray you, Empress. Okay? Like I said, with that April energy, um, Libra Taurus energy, Aries energy, but divine energy, they tried to betray you, stab you in the back here, okay? Um, spread a lot of rumors, try to use you up, take from you. You're a star here. You're a healer, okay? People know who you are. Cheers. Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. And during happy hour, nobody knows this person's name, Okay? Like, but you don't care. Like, you don't seek this attention. You naturally get it because of who you are. Like, your the energy, your essence. Like, you just minding your business, doing what you do, and people care about you. Yeah, 5 o'clock in the morning, where you going to be? You going to be out here making that Skrilla, right? Trying to make that money. But this also could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a mother figure or whatever, or somebody wife who fucking watching you. 5 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, this emperor. This emperor also could be watching you, like, operate, like, get up and do your thing and say, damn, look at my baby on that Queen of Pentacles shit. Yeah, because the King of Pentacles out here. So this is definitely the emperor. He ain't trying to miss this opportunity here. But this is emperor right here. He watching you be like him. So this could be, I could be talking to a masculine who's finding out, like, yo, whoever these people are or this feminine energy that you have some sort of ties with, this, she can't come with you, bro. She ain't real. Like, your family ain't real. These folks ain't real. Like, you got somebody who really match your energy here all the way around. Like, y'all some financially stable, divine beings. Like, wealth is who y'all are. Like, this shit, that shit crazy. Let me get that again, collect, um, divine Holy Spirit. But I feel like you be up early making money, like, late nights, early mornings. This shit stresses somebody out. They be out here drinking while you out here working. You working around the clock, working on that bag. Yeah, taking action. This person out here stressing out, losing their mind, getting drunk, having hangovers, can't focus, can't do shit. And somebody about to find out this person's dirty secrets or, you know, their, you know, secrets that they haven't been, you know, revealing or trying to deny. And this could be whoever this person's with. I feel like this person could have somebody, but they're so obsessed in your energy here. Yeah, this initials AGMS. They're not victorious at all. This person doesn't have victory. I feel like this person is trying to come back towards you, collective, because they see they see what you're doing, just like this emperor see who you are. You just queen of pentacles. You stack that bread. Like, you stable as hell. You wifey material. Yeah, and whoever got these initials want to come back and be a part of it. This is who can't come with you. So anybody who has those initials, I'm even hearing if they're nickname has those in, has that as a starting initial. They mad because they're not winning with you. But miracles are happening here, baby. Like, they're happening big. 
And there's nothing that this person or these people, these energies can do other than lose their mind. Yeah. Big, big miracles, big contracts. Okay. I'm talking fame, fortune, everything you could think of is happening here with that devil energy. Yeah. Somebody does not think it's fair. Hell, the devil doesn't even think it's fair that you're getting these miracles. But it is a miracle. I feel like the devil is helping you out, bruh. Not for nothing. For some of you guys, the devil is helping you out. I'm clarifying this. Yeah, the devil is helping you out. I feel like the devil is helping you, helping block these people. They don't give a, the devil don't give a fuck. Whatever demons they were playing with, don't give a fuck. I feel like these demons are attacking them to ensure that your miracles come in. This, this demon, these demons are protecting your miracle and they don't give a fuck. I feel like these people could have made so much offerings and shit. Yeah, now they up here fucking drunk as fuck. They're protecting you from these drunken, spying ass, stalking ass, weird, um, emotionally, mentally unstable ass people, bro. I don't know why I'm heavy on this clarification. Give me another one more for the devil, please. Because that is into oh, okay. Yeah, this <laughs> the devil ain't playing no games. They taking all type of control, being very narcissistic. This, they're they're helping this person lose their mind, yeah, and lose their balance and their focus here. Mm hmm. That five of swords, baby. I'm telling you, I told you, you ain't let your swords go. The devil see what's up. They gotta remember the devil play both sides. And right now, the devil choosing to help you as a as um a light being, as a child of God. He's like, you know, I'm tired of this person. Facts, confirmation in my background. They say, I'm tired of this person. Like, they keep trying to make all these dead offers, and I'm just like, yo, I can't keep coming against God's child. Like, you crazy, bro. Like, I'm not I'm not trying to cause all them issues and shit, so I feel like the devil coming to take them out and protecting your miracle. It's a miracle. The devil is taking their ass back out, whoever this is. Right? Mm, mm, mm. So we're going to pull from the Yin Yang Oracle, guys, okay? Somebody has a lack of boundaries is what I'm really feeling. Yeah, it's how compassionate and nurturing you are. This is why this person is very upset and jealous. Yeah, this person hot right here. Five of Wands energy, Leo energy, but Mars, Scorpio energy. They want to fight, bro. Like, this person is upset, angry, and bitter, and miserable. Like, let's see. Divine Holy Spirit, let's get some closing energy here on this situation. Some final close of energy, please. And thank you. Yeah, got to wrap this up. Yeah, fears, limitations. Somebody wanted to hold you stuck. But now I feel like this person is pissed off. Yeah, because see, there's a, a hand coming out of here. This person is being haunted by the demons that they sent you. And this shit is making this person hot. I feel like this person could have, like, be going through a lot of sweats. Or even you could be waking up in, like, some sort of cold sweat or whatever. And that's because this person keeps trying to tap into your energy. We got feminine in reverse. I typically don't read these in reverse. But this is, like, a karmic feminine energy here. She hot, bruh. And it could be because the dude that she with want to be with you. And she keep trying to come back in and, and, like, interfere. This person knows something about this person. Maybe that they not the father or they lying or that this person was doing all this shit. This person seeing how crazy this person really is. Okay, yeah. They getting clarity here. There's a lot of clarity coming in on this feminine and reverse. Yeah, higher self-activation. Everybody is seeing it. Like I said, everybody is seeing it. This ear sign, whoever that king of swords is, some, they're... they're mm -mm. They about to help this person wake up and see who the fuck they are, too. This person going to wake up in a drunk tank and, or in a psych ward. Yeah, this summer. This shit going down this summer. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. That's what I heard. Yeah, it's been a long time coming, like I said. Last two to three years, somebody was really putting in that hard-ass word. This is finally the breakthrough that is needed here to get out of this situation here. Saturn, karma, to break out of this contract. Mm-hmm. With this earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. What else? Yeah, this person is about to receive some sort of karma here. Some shit's about to happen to this energy here. Yeah, they're, whatever they wished for you <laughs> is what they're about to receive while you receive your wish fulfillment. You're receiving a breakthrough now, and this person is watching and spying. Like I said, they're a stalker. they losing their mind by everything they're seeing. Everything that they hope that you that will happen bad to you, they're getting. And you're still getting the goodness because you have self-love for yourself. You are a creator. You are the empress. The empress is a creator. You detach from this energy. People call you cold, but it's for a reason. It's because you know what you're dealing with and what you got going on around you. Even family. Yeah, because these people spying on you. They lurking. They watching. 
and you cut these folks off. Yeah, because they're watching you and they're watching your twin flame. They're watching you and your di your divine person here. They see that y'all coming together and things about to happen. And it's driving these people crazy. They really tried to stop you. And now they mad. Not only can they not stop you, but they also can't be a part of this. And it is driving this person crazy. Right? Yeah, your ancestors are helping you. They're protecting you. Archangel Michael is in the building, definitely. Okay? But they see this storm here. They see everything brewing. They're keeping you safe. They're keeping you protected. Okay? Your light is still shining. Yeah, they're keeping you stable here and in flow. So you ain't got to worry about none of that. Shit, this person has been doing a whole lot of stuff. And that's why they're finally catching all of it back. That one sword they want to lay in. Uh, lay on or whatever, that's the final sword to put the nail in the coffin for themselves. But I feel like you walking away, yeah, with this divine timing coming out, you walking away with that five of swords energy is what like made this person drop that sword. And that's the sword that went into the coffin that makes that ten of swords. This person is done. They're a rat. This person's going through the dark side, okay? This person was messing with moon energy so damn much. Now they ass going crazy. Yeah, it's time for your opportunity. And whoever this earth sign is, mm, Sucks for you. Sucks to be you. This person got a. This person has low self-esteem. Literally, that's what I'm getting. And this person be lurking, and they're jealous, and they're envious. Yeah. Um. Just be compassionate to yourself. This kind of came out on a more sideways. Be compassionate to yourself because this person likes all sort of compassion. Nobody is gonna give two shits about this person because they're gonna realize. Um, yeah, with this sun here, okay, this clarity, people are going to realize what this person was up to. Just stay in the present moment here, collective. Be thankful. Stay in the um, element of gratitude here and continue to release and surrender as you have been because this is what's bringing, bringing in your blessings, your abundance, and your miracles. And as always, I need you to remember you are protected, blessed, and highly favored. So I hope this message reached who it needs to reach. I hope it helps. Stay tuned for the next one. Until the next time we talk, you know I love your face. Peace out.